Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna do something a little outside the box. It's already been done before many times, I think, by, uh, other streamers, but stre sh YouTubers. Man, I am so out of it. What? Content creators, yes. <clears throat> but, um, I can't hear you. I said I should charge you consultation fees. Still can't hear you. Of course. Anyway. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Well, yes, that that's much better. I actually. should charge you consultation fees. Consultation fees? Can you do one dime down? No. It's a crime to pay more than a dime. So I would not miss a fee sheet. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually build a 1950s retro future rocket. Uh, so I need to do some, actually it's been a while since I've seen, well no, actually no, I, I, I have some uh, in my, in my mind already. Now the futuristic rocket was, um, a SSTO, well actually an SSRT, and, um, it could go to the moon and back and all this other good stuff, so, hmm, let me see, we're definitely gonna, back in the day you, you these retro rockets had all kinds of strange engine types that you had fusion you had nuclear propulsion and guess what we've got nuclear propulsion for Kerbal space program so we can definitely use this to our advantage which means that we can actually make it so that it can be almost like an interplanetary ssrt which would be kind of interesting because we don't need to worry about cargo it's not a heavy hauler it's just a spaceship that you travel around in right so that being the case our cargo is actually going to be the crew modules and those will be very light very light indeed all right how do i start where do i start let's start at the pointy bit ah my fingertips are going numb ah my wrists i've been picking up concrete slabs for the past two weeks so my wrists my wrists are my nerves inside my wrists are pinched so after a while they start to make my fingertips numb and i gotta kind of straighten them out in order to have feeling go back to my hands oh let's Mmm. No. Yeah. All right, we're about to. Uh, so I've been building SSRTs for a very long time now. I'm about to take some design aspects from later, or excuse me, earlier designs. I don't really want to copy it completely because we're going for a very retro future look. Should this be a big rocket though? Hmm. Okay, so after looking at a bunch of different retro rocket designs, I think I found a good one that I like personally. And it kind of has, um, it's sort of, well, that's a good way of describing it. Some of you know that I'm a big Fallout 4 fan, so anything retro-ish, I kind of geek out over. Especially when it when it's futuristic retro. Like, I'm, I'm not really, <laughs> sure, 1950s and stuff, there's some things that I like about it. But I, I really am interested in how they saw the future back then. How their version of the future was was actually very very interesting how heavy is this 0 0.45 mm, can we go for something lighter 0 0.3 max temp is 12 1200 though yeah and if we're going to re-enter Kerbin's atmosphere we don't want to break everything we have although i've i've done this before where i've gone i've re-entered with these kind of wings so it's not out of the realm of possibility it's not big enough though wish my hands would stop going numb this sucks okay now we're cooking with rocket fuel. There we go. Okay, okay, I think I think this is a good for for our first test. Let's go ahead and slap a flag on it. America. Hmm. Okay, this looks like fun. Let's do this in three, two, one. Oh wait. Oh dear. <laughs> Come on. There you go. All right, we're getting it now. We're getting it. Good grief! Is this even gonna make orbit? I mean, it looks pretty damn cool. All right, picking up some speed. Um, I'm not liking the numbers here. It doesn't look like we're gonna make it. Not this go around. Oh, well, shit. Looks like we had a main drive malfunction. Damn it. Mm-mm-mm. 
All right, this is gonna have to be the last go because I'm running out of time, but I replaced the engines with something a little bit more powerful, but a little bit more fuel hungry. So we'll see if that makes any difference. Oh gosh, huh. Oh, oh, oh wow, oh, oh geez. Uh, okay. All right, no more staging. Staging is not our friend. No staging whatsoever. Just uh, action groups in three, two, what? In three, two, one. Oh, in three, two, one. Finally. Without the nuclear propulsion, we only have 800 meters per second left. With the nuclear propulsion, 1860 meters per second. Okay. Alright. she made it with over 600 meters per second left over too but that's more like space travel engines i wouldn't want to try to land with this thing i bet in all reality she's probably got maybe 100 meters per second left of good solid landing thrust so some design changes i could definitely put more fuel maybe put some uh, smaller fuel tanks on the sides there's definitely room for that i could kind of outlay them across the side a little bit put uh nose cones on either end blend them in real nice definitely maybe some air brakes on the nose so when i go in ass first into the atmosphere for aero braking i can engage those air brakes and slow myself down a hell of a lot better maybe even put a parachute or two just in case for like landing purposes it would definitely save some fuel to slow me down way more so yes definitely some design changes i could use that cargo bay maybe put in like a rover or something something I don't know. But anyways, everyone, I'm all out of time. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I like it, and I actually think I'm going to make another video about it. I'm going to do some changes and, and, and clean it up a little bit. But this is it for the prototype. Love you all, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.